Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to use the library method in Silhouette Studio Designer Edition or higher. In this case, I'm going to be using Business Edition, but the process again is the same for Designer Edition. Now, rather than opening one file at a time, you do have the ability to take all of the files for a specific project, categorize them, and store them within Silhouette Studio Designer Edition or higher. Now to accomplish that, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up and show the library, which you can do by clicking this icon here. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to right click on My Library and click New Folder. It's going to give us a blank folder and it's going to give us the opportunity to name it. So I'm going to call this Stingy Jack's Halloween Lantern 3 because that is what we're going to be importing. Okay, so the quickest way that I've found to get all of these files into the library. Now, again, we want to make sure that we have the new folder highlighted. It's highlighted here, and you can see it up in the header here. I'm going to slide this over a little bit so I can see the desktop and, and actually locate the folder that contains all my files. I'm going to go into the SVG files folder and locate the Stingy Jacks Lantern 3, and then go into the SVG files folder there. I'm going to drag and select all of these files and then drop them right in here. Okay, so now all nine of those files were added to this specific folder. Okay, and now what we can go ahead and do is whenever we're ready, we can just double click on the file and it will bring it up in Silhouette Studio on the mat. Now we have it on the mat. It's not ready to cut yet. If you were to send this to Silhouette to cut, it would tell you that the operation is complete, but it wouldn't have even moved the blade. Or maybe the blade would have moved, but it wouldn't have cut anything. So you do need to make sure that you highlight the file and click on Cut Settings, and that you set it to cut. Okay, now you can see here that when you do that, it creates this pink line around the outside of the shapes, as well as highlighting the score lines. Okay, so you never want to have cut edge or any of these other options. If you have cut edge, it will not score it for you. I always want to make sure you have it set to cut. So once you have it set to cut, you can send it to Silhouette. The Silhouette will cut it. You can go back into your library and bring up the next piece by double clicking. Okay, now actually what it did was it put it on the same mat. So you can either move this one off to the side or you can just delete it completely. Put this one on the mat. Again, you need to go into cut settings and you need to set it to cut. And you actually have to have it highlighted first. There you go. So we have it set to cut and that one's ready to go. And you repeat the process until you have all your pieces cut out so that you can go ahead and assemble it. Now we're gonna show you this process just one more time. I'm gonna right click on my library, create a new folder. And since we're working with the Stingy Jacks, Halloween Lantern collection here, the kit. I'm going to go ahead and do number two. Okay. Okay. And again, we have it highlighted. We know we're in the right folder because it's showing here in the header. I'm just going to move this over. And we're going to go into the unzipped folder, double click, go into the Lantern 2, get the SVG files, and drag them and drop them in there. Now this one actually also has some vellum SVG files, so we want to drop that in there as well. Now storing them in your library is completely optional or only demonstrating this because people have asked how to do it. Now uh, again, we can go into this folder, you simply double click, and actually let me, let me clear this off so we can start with a fresh mat. Go back into the library, double click, and there it is. And again, it needs to be highlighted. So you select it so that you can see the box around it. You go into the cut settings, and you got to make sure that you set it to cut.